हेलो स्टूडेंट वेलकम टू स्टैंडर्ड टेंथ एंड वी आर स्टडिंग द लेसन पॉपुलेशन ऑफ जोग्राफी सो डियर स्टूडेंट पार्ट थ्री डियर स्टूडेंट इन द अर्लियर लेक्चर वी हैड स्टडीड द पॉपुलेशन डेंसिटी ऑफ इंडिया population distribution of india then we also have seen population distribution of brazil and population density of brazil now in this part we are going to study population composition so you see the graph over here in this graph the year is mentioned and the sex ratio is given and let us study now what is this all about so what does this graph show the graph shows the sex ratio of brazil what is sex ratio sex ratio means the number of female per 1000 males in region so how many women are there in one th- uh, according to the 1000 men it is evident from the graph that the number of women in brazil have always been more than men while in india they have never been more than men so that means the number of female is never been more in india and in brazil it is always more so let us study in more detail if you see the graph here of brazil sex ratio of brazil in 1971 the women were 1000 men against that 1020 women in 81 it was 22 in 91 the proportion i'm i'm sorry student it is in 71 it is 1010 in 81 it is 1012 in 91 again 1012 as or 13 and 2001 it went up to 1020 female per 1000 men ever since 2001 the graph is increasing and in 2011 the number of female is above 1060 per 1000 men this is the graph of brazil the number of female is always increasing now let us compare the same graph of india so in the year 2061 the uh, per 1000 men 940 women then in the year 1971 it came down to 930 decline was there and the again after 10 years after one decade in 1981 it slightly increased to 1935 again it came down in the uh, next decade that is 1991 to 930 per 1000 men then uh, 2001 slightly increase was there but even it was 
below 900 and uh, 900 and say uh, more or less 40. In 2011, it uh, rose above 940, uh, say more or less 950 per 1000 per 1000 men. So in this way, in India, always men are more than male are more than female, but in Brazil male are less than female. So let us study why is it like this geographical explanation with reference to both the countries the characteristics of population are prominently notable. So what is prominently uh, how it is notable is that first the sex ratio of Brazil has been more than 1000 men since decade. So quite a many decade in Brazil the graph is higher. So uh, we can say all throughout the decade right from uh, 1961 to 19, 2011 always it is high. Number two. Considering the sex ratio of Brazil, the number of women have considerably increased than men since 2001. So we have seen also in the graph here from 2001, it has, uh, the graph is growing higher and higher of Brazil. Number three, in India, men outnumber women that means men are more and female are always less in India so right from 1961 it was 940 and uh, it went little higher than 940 in 2011 then then In India, we see fluctuations in the sex ratio since few decades. So it is always um, low, uh, getting low, then slightly increasing. Again, it's going down. So fluctuation is there. There has been a slight increase in the sex ratio after 1991. So slightly it is increasing. So in this way, my dear student, sex ratio is been uh, compared with Brazil and in India it is always men are more than female but in Brazil female are more and uh, men are less per thousand. So what could be the reason of low sex ratio in any region? What could be the reason? It is always that in in India in India we see that um, it we say that men are uh, the the male child is the inheritance and therefore he is considered as Vamsata Diva. On the other hand girl child will get married and she will go to other's house. So she is considered as Dusrasa Dhan and therefore girls are not welcomed in our country. On the other hand, Brazil, it is not the case. So always remember, save girl, teach girls is the need of the R in our country. So our government is always uh, telling us that we have to save girl, beti bachao, beti padhao, because there are quite a many uh, uh, good slogans about it that um, girls are uh, the one who will look after the families, both places and uh, uh, parents house as well as husband's house and therefore in that in that case 
my dear student to save girl child is very very uh, important uh, here in our country we don't save the girl child and um, uh, therefore it is a need of an r in india number of men outnumbered women is this condition found in all the states of india no my dear student in india kerala is a state where 1000 men per 1000 men there are 1040 women so in kerala it is uh, not the same case in this way my dear student we see that the the sex ratio in kerala is more than any other states in our country so in this way we have studied my dear student the population composition of brazil and india and the sex ratio so uh, that's all for time being and in the next lecture we are going to see age and sex pyramid till then goodbye and have a nice time